Hello, welcome to this next episode of Building a Second Brain in Upnote. This is a mini-series looking at how to implement Tiago Forte's second brain system within the note-taking application Upnote. This week we're thinking about one of the two key acronyms within the second brain system, CODE. Now this is an acronym that describes a process, the key process within the Building a Second Brain system. This governs what you do with all of the notes and all of the information that you collect and put into your notes app, in this case, UpNote. Those letters, C-O-D-E, they stand for collect, organize, distill, and express. Collect, that means pretty much what it sounds like. You could also say capture. This is about gathering information from multiple sources and capturing it and collecting it all into one place. That would be your notes application. How do your notes get into your system? Organize. This is pretty self-explanatory because a straight unordered list of a multitude of different types of information is going to be an absolute nightmare for you to work with. So you need some kind of an organizational system. Once you've captured all of that information, you need to organize it. And we'll think more about that in a future episode. D, distill, find the essence, Tiago Forte would say. This, he uses a technique called progressive summarization. And the basic idea of this is to really understand all of the different knowledge and information that you've captured and collected. In building a second brain, you don't do this with all of the notes and information you have, but you do do it with the ones that you need to when they're relevant and when it's important for the next stage, which is E, express, show your work. As your understanding builds, you wanna use that knowledge in the work that you do day to day. That it doesn't just mean creating content like blog posts or YouTube videos or whatever. This can actually be used in all of your day to day work. Your notes can be used to inform the projects, the goals, the tasks that you have in everyday life and in your work. Harness your notes to improve the quality of all of your work. Now this video is gonna focus on the collection, the capturing, and some of the tools available within Upnote for organizing it. And then in the next video, we're gonna look at implementing the organizational system para. So let's think about collecting in Upnote. Now collecting information into Upnote is actually really easy. If you're in the app, there's a very simple keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac. And that shortcut is just command N and that just creates a new note. You can start typing. If you're in another application, say for example, you're working on a Google Doc or you're on a website, you can create a new note within Upnote, command option N, I think it's control alt N on Windows. And that brings up this little box where you can create your new note and then you can just get rid of it. And that new note is now in Upnote. One of my favorite features about Upnote is paste to Upnote. So for example, this is a great line. This is just a script from an old podcast of mine. This line is brilliant. Carl is my favorite productivity YouTuber. The basic principle here, his aim was to make a start and then he passed 100,000 subscribers after releasing 1,012 videos. This is a great testament to Carl Pauline and to one of the things that he teaches, the power of patience, action, consistency, and time. And I want that in Upnote. And the way to get that into Upnote is to copy it to the clipboard as normal, Control C, and then you paste it into Upnote using the keyboard shortcut, Command, Control, Option, V. And that pastes that into Upnote in a new note. Paste to Upnote is one of my favorite features. Another thing you can use is Upnote's web clipper. So if we go back, here's a blog post from Carl Pauline. I want that in Upnote, so I'm gonna clip that to Upnote press the little web clipper button up here in my toolbar, open up note, and there you go, that blog post is now in up note. So when they're there, this is where organizing comes in. And there are a whole host of tools available within Upnote to organize the information that you collect really well. Notebooks would be the primary one. So notebooks are here in your sidebar. You can nest notebooks in Upnote. This one you can see you have notebooks nested within a main notebook, you have other notebooks nested within that, and then you have other notebooks nested within that. You can nest these as deep as you want. And if you want to put a note within a notebook, let's 
just select this one. Now you can either do that down here by clicking add to notebooks or you can use the keyboard shortcut command shift B and then you just click wherever you want to put it. One of the great features of Upnote is that you can put your notes in multiple notebooks. This is really useful within the para system because notes can exist in an archive or in your resources but you can also bring them into your active projects as well without constantly moving them around. Your notebooks will be the backbone of your organization's system. Within your note, you can also have tags. These are put in with a very simple hashtag and then you can put in tags, whatever you want. I tend to use tags within Upnote to provide supplementary markers for my notes. So that would be, for example, topics. I could, for example, be studying the topic of grace so I'm going to create a tag for Grace. I sometimes use it in my main upnote for books of the Bible. So for example, Revelation. If I'm creating recipes, then I might use the tags for ingredients. Now the tags within Upnote are inline tags. Let's just go back to the blog post that we captured. Procrastination. Let's right click on that and create a new tag, Procrastination. So the tags are in line, they're in the body of your text, but also if you want to, you can either do this at the top or at the bottom. I prefer to do it at the bottom so it's out of the way. You can put a divider in and then you can just put tags in at the bottom. Links are another key aspect of how you can organize things within Upnote. You can have a link to a note, so copy link to note. And then let's just paste this in here so we can see it. So that is a link to a note and it will take you back to the note when you click it. I normally link to notes within dashboards, but I also would link to notes within the body of the text. You do that using the open and close square brackets. That just brings up a list of all of your notes. So what I would use this for is if I think the information in this note is helpful, but it's not worth bringing in the text. Over time, as the links build, you create these sort of links and backlinks. So here it tells you what other notes link to this note. As these links and these backlinks build up throughout all of your notes, it really does help to connect up your thinking so that when you're seeking to bring the knowledge together, to inform the work that you're doing, to create something new from it, these links and these backlinks are really helpful in finding that information, finding what's linked and what's relevant. You can also link to notebooks. So on your notebook side panel here, you can click on these three dots and then you can copy the link to the notebook. So we'll just go back in here, paste that in that is a link to a notebook, and if you click that, it will take you to the notebook. I mostly use these in dashboards. Headings is another one that's really, really useful. So let's go to this, which is from my previous video, how to make your notes more visually impactful. These are collapsible sections. You can link to the section, and let's just paste that in there. It links to the note, but it also links to the collapsible section. And if we went into here, you can right click on it, copy link to here, classic example, Pomodoro apps. If you click that, it will take you to that heading within that note. This is useful if you have longer notes and you need to link to specific parts of that note, but not the whole thing. And then last, but perhaps most powerfully of all, simple dashboards. Now, personally, I find these little dashboards are a really key part of my organizational system within Upnote. Like little maps that I've built to important information that I use all of the time. Having them provides me with really easy access to the things that I always need. Now, what I've got here are some demo versions of some of the key dashboards that I use within Upnote. Here is that master goals and projects list. Now, obviously this is the demo version, so it's a little bit rough and ready, but you can see that here I've got four active projects. These are notebook links, you can see by the little notebook symbol here. And under here, I have a collapsible section for my completed projects. The way this works is that this would be a much bigger table with a complete list of all of my projects. So you can see a different status. You might say that this is gonna be in April to June. The deadline is the 30th of June. The way this works in practice is, for example, this one, building a second brain, I've actually completed this. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those cells and I'm going to add a new row below and I'm going to paste them in. So that would be how I would maintain my master goals and projects list. I would have a list of active projects, a list of completed projects, and I would move them around like that. Now that leads on to this week's projects. So this is just a simple set of collapsible sections, one for each day of the week. And what I would do is I would copy those and I would just normally paste them into here like that. I would go through this list and I would say, well, actually, I'm going to work on this one on Monday, on Wednesday. I wouldn't normally work on this many projects on a day, but this is just an idea. And then each of these days is just a list of the projects that I want to be focusing on. Normally, I would limit it to one, maybe two projects a day. I bring my focus projects into my week plan and then I can copy those into my command hub, which is where we go next. The way this works is I just have a few quote sections set up for my month focus and my month targets, whatever that may be. I will have a link to the planner for the month underneath it. I will have a section for this week. These would be just reminders, targets, goals or habits. The key thing that I have most of the time is today. And let's go back to this week's projects. It's actually Wednesday today, so I'm gonna select all of those. I'm gonna go back into my command hub and let's just paste them in. And that shows you which projects you're supposed to be working on today. I would then have my three objectives for the day, which is taken straight out of um, Carl Pauline's prioritization system. So I normally have two or three objectives for the day, which I would then put in there. I don't time block plan, but in this dashboard, I will have just a little gender to keep me moving through the day. I highlight it in red if it is one of my objectives. I highlight it in green if it's an appointment that I want to keep. And then at the very bottom, I'll have a series of waypoints. These are keynotes or key links to other parts of my organizational system. Another key dashboard that I use would be a contents page for a project. So here's a project and the contents page is literally just a list of all of the notes that are in that project. If there's a lot of notes in the project and you don't want to list all of them in a contents page, you can just list the key ones here. But this would be a sort of a main project note gives you a little bit of information about the project and then a list of links to all of the notes in the project. And the reason why this little thing here is here, hashtag project, because if I click the tag, what that does is it brings me up a list of all of the main project notes. So I can very easily access every single note in every single project I have using that hashtag project filter. Really useful. And then the last dashboard I have is my reading list. So this just shows all of the books I'm reading. The title of the book would normally be a link to the note where I take notes on the book. I've got hashtags for all of the different authors. Once I have read a book, because I've now read this one, I would copy those, paste that in. This one shows my reading progress. The notes I make on the books are all accessible from one central place. Those are the dashboards that I have that supplement my organization system. And that's how you can collect information into Upnote and the tools that are available within the application for organizing that information. The next video in this mini series is gonna focus on Para, which is the organization system within the Building a Second Brain framework. If you found this one valuable, then please do hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos and check out these other videos that are on your screen now. They might be helpful for you as well and we'll see you next time.